the roots of the quadratic equation 2x squared minus 9x plus k equal to 0 are m over 2 and m minus 3. Find the value of m. So when you say the roots are m over 2 and m minus 3, this is what is important. The roots are m over 2 and m minus 3. That means the values of x is m over 2. One value of x is m over 2. And the other value of x is m minus 3. So this means you can say x minus m over 2 is equal to 0. And from this I can say x minus m plus 3 is equal to 0. So we are saying x minus m over 2 is a 0 and x minus m plus 3 is a 0. So using these two facts I can say therefore x uh, okay so let's simplify this okay how do you simplify this so can I say this means if x minus 2 x minus m over 2 is same as 2x minus m over 2 is equal to 0. And multiplying both sides by 2, you can say this means 2x minus m is a 0. And you got x minus m plus 2 equal to 0. That means I can say 2x minus m times x minus m plus 3 is equal to 0. Or we can say this also implies this, if you expand this, that should be equal to this. So we can say, well, uh, 2x minus m, 2x minus m times x minus m plus 3 is equal to 2x squared minus 9x plus k okay so I would uh, want you to expand this and uh, set this equal to this so if you expand this you can pause this video now and try to expand and compare the two sides so if you expand this, this side this is 2x times x is 2x squared 2x times minus m is minus 2mx then 2x times 3 is plus 6 6x am I right then you got minus minus m times x is minus mx minus m times minus m is plus m squared minus 3m is equal to 2x squared minus 9x plus k. So simplifying this, this is minus 2mx minus mx becomes minus 3mx. So we can say this is 2x squared uh, minus 3mx plus 6x plus m squared minus 3m is equal to 2x squared minus 9x plus k. Okay, so let's simplify this, expand this. So you can simplify this if you factor. So if you write this, this is 2x squared. I'll put a minus out. So inside the bracket you'll have 3m minus 6 times x plus m squared minus 3m is equal to 2x squared minus 9x plus k. So if you compare the left side, left hand side with right hand side, I can say well this 3m minus 6 should be 9. So you can compare the x with the x and you can also compare the minus with the minus. And then you can come, you can say well this should be equal to k. Okay, so we are almost there. So we can say 3m minus 6 should be 9. So which implies 3m is equal to 15 
adding 6 to both sides, so m should be phi. So if m is phi, you can find k. So comparing the left with the right, I can say, let me scroll up. I can say k is m squared minus 3m, which is phi squared minus 3 times phi, which is 25 minus 15, which is equal to 10. So the value of k is 10. So let's understand this backwards. So if you put m as 10, okay, so let me do it. So this means the quadratic equation is 2x squared minus 9x plus 10 equal to 0. Okay, so if you factorize this, so this is 2x in one bracket and you got x in the other bracket. So which are the numbers that will come here? So you want 10, yeah? So 2x minus 5 and minus 2. Okay, so this is uh, this is minus 4x. Can you see this is minus 5x and minus 4x will give you minus 9x. So from this, can you see your x is going to be 2 or x is equal to 5 over 2. So if m is 5, m was how much? m was 5. So if you put m as 5, so this is 5, oh, well, this will be 5 over 2, which is 2.5. Okay, so this is, so you can write this 2 is 5 minus 3 is 2. So I can say, well, x is, m is 5. So if you put to explain 2, 2 is same as 5 minus 3, or x is equal to 5 divided by 2. 